So you want to know how to have the proper ski vacation. After spending the past weekend on a ski trip, I think we found the secret to unlocking the perfect experience. Oh but let's start at the beginning. Yeah, I'm sure that's what pass? marks. I don't have your pass, no. Do I have my pass? Right, let's see if this sets up. Oh yeah. Hello and welcome back to the Knack for Adventure YouTube channel. My name's AJ Cutler. And I'm really excited about this week's vlog. We are headed out of the state for the first ski trip of the season. At least with me and Nick together, uh, a couple weeks ago, I was able to go out to Palisades Tahoe with the North Face, which was an absolutely epic time. And maybe I'll include some of the clips mm, now-ish. Yeah, that was an absolute blast. But this week we are headed up to Jackson Hole Mountain Resort up in Wyoming, get some steep. I don't think it's gonna be deep just because there's no snow in the forecast, but I'll take some steep groomers. But first, I just wanna say thank you so much to Arcade Belts for sponsoring this video. Currently wearing this one. It honestly matches these pants like pretty perfectly. What do you think? Fit check? I feel like there's a better spot to do this outfit check. It's getting towards the end of January, so we've had a couple months on skis and they definitely need a tune. This guy named Jake reached out to me from Salty Ski Service. It is a mobile tune and wax van that he just like tune skis out of. So cool. But we are gonna be meeting up with him today in order to get a quick wax on Nick's skis. This brings us to the first step in having a great ski trip. An important part is the gear that's actually gonna get you on snow. So ideally you want to have equipment that is quote, shreddy ready. Okay, so just knocked out an edge and wax. Do a little side edge sharpen to polish up the base edge real good, sharpen it best I can. And then I do a little detune on the tips and the tails. And then I just use a good all temp wax, which is good for 80% of the conditions. And uh, scrape and buff the base clean. And it's definitely a good go-to tune if you're just looking for something basic. Thanks again to Jake and Salty Ski Service for tuning those up. I'll put a link to his Instagram and website if you're in the Salt Lake area and wanna check him out. He mentioned he does events at local breweries, which I think is such a cool idea. So definitely go check him out. And now it's time for us to take a little road trip. See you in a little bit. All right, it's a pretty bare bones ski trip. So we're only packing the essentials. Right here, we've got a boot dryer. Big old camera bag, film camera, yoga mat, two pairs of ski boots, three pairs of ski boots. We're really packing light. Yeah, Do I'm sure that's what marks. I don't have your pass, no. Do I have my pass? We have our passes. So now it's time to leave. <laughs> now we'll do the thing where I go. We didn't get into town until after the lift stopped spinning, so we just went straight to Apre, dinner, and some pool. And also trying to super glue our GoPro back together. But nevertheless, it was a great way to kick off the trip. Now let's get back to the formula for a great ski trip. One of the reasons that we as humans love to travel is because you get to experience new things. 
new places, new people, new food. One of the key parts of a vacation is not being afraid of these experiences. For me, as a new tele skier, it was spending a full day tellying at one of the top five ski resorts with the most vertical feet. My legs were absolutely shaking by the end of the day, but I'm pretty proud to say that I conquered the wild, wild steeps of Jackson Hole Mountain Resort. Maybe Corbett's is next? What do you think? On the other hand, I think Nick just had fun doing the regular stuff he usually does. Jumping off of things and skiing the soft chop. quick stretch and a baked potato dinner is what stood between us and another day of skiing. But before we knew it, it was time to wake up and do it all over again. As you can see, it's a bit foggy. Visibility is great. Give us a one-liner. I can see way too far today. Visibility is way too good. All time out here at Alta. <laughs> no. That's how uh, that's how bad the visibility is. Cody can't even tell that we're in Jackson. Where are we? The go the vlog is going to experience me trying to get this on my helmet. Sometimes I get it first try, and then sometimes it takes me a really long time. It's better go in the edit. Hey, Adrian's taking over. Ow. Oh yeah, so good. I can totally see. Now let's talk about this. One thing about ski trips, you're probably going to encounter some bad weather. The beautiful phenomena of sleet and snow is crucial to the sport. Without it, we wouldn't get to enjoy sliding on snow. So who cares if you can't see in front of your face or that the skiers along the horizon look like zombies in the mist? Take your time, enjoy the power of nature, and fully embrace the weather of winter. Oh, yeah. Is this Casper or Teton? I don't know. <laughs> I can't hey, what lift are you on? Okay, thanks. Oh, 
was so loose through there. <laughs> So bad. And lastly, the most vital step to a ski vacation, just like the rest of life, is to surround yourself with good company. Find those people who will wait at the bottom of the run for you, who will hype you up, who will make you feel safe, and who will play hot potato with you. Or maybe the last one is just an Idaho thing. The wrap, right? Ready? Hot potato! No, Austin! Okay, the potato is now cold. Touchdown! Your potato, my lady. <laughs> Wait, now take a bite. Thanks so much to all of our friends and family that skied with us this weekend, and thanks to Arcade for sponsoring this video. Head to the description for links and codes that help support this channel, and check out our other social channels for more ski and outdoor adventures. Thanks so much for watching, and keep on crushing.